Okay. I'm just going to my room real quick. I want to see what I look like. I know I can see there's like a million mirrors. I'm trying to get a good spot because I have really bad eyes. So, and they've been really bad like recently. Like sometimes they're fine, but right now it's bad. And so my eyes just are watering. So this one's really bad. And I have aggressive eye blinking, but not the point. They're just watering. And so I'm just like having to walk around going like that. But like I'm not crying, but I don't want people to think I am because I don't want it to look like I am. So I hope it doesn't look like that. But anyways, I came back to the room by myself for a minute. I'm going to give a room tour. But I came here to get books. Okay, so this is our door. We have a whiteboard outside, so we have those. Um, these, this is like the closet. I have my stuff in here. Right here is the bathroom. How do I turn this on? Is it out here? Is it this thing? It is. Okay, so this is the bathroom. Very small. Um, but yeah, this is my stuff. Okay, this is... Okay, so this is like literally every bathroom stuff I could possibly need. That's my makeup. That's my jewelry. That's for my sunglasses. Um, so yeah, that's the bathroom. And then this is a couch. It's going to be turned into a bed. And then these are the two beds. These are going to be turned into like a full bed. Balcony. Anyway. That's where we came in from right there like we our bus came right there and then i don't know if you can hear me but our bus came right here and then we walked over here that's how we got in and then the thing to load on anyways yeah so that's the room tour i have a tote bag i'm sniffling like literally me getting sniffles while i'm trying to say i'm not crying i got tote bag my book my glasses and then my mom's book and then now i'm gonna head back over to the top deck and I just take the stairs every time. And that's gonna be a good workout. Yeah, that's well we welcome you from now on to Delaware University. My name is Neil, I'm the cruise director. It is my job to lead you to the fun, but it is your job to choose to have that fun. It's like number two of the day. It's not like you're almost running the camp. Blue jeans. Laurie, if you get this, three for three. <laughs> Professionals. <laughs> okay. Who is the captain of cereal? Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch is the correct answer. Amazing. Laurie, you did amazing. Michelle, you did mediocre. Uh, that would have just shattered you. Okay, vlog. Day two. This is our lunch. I got some chips. I got a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Pickles on the side. German chocolate cake. A brownie pecan cake. I got some mixed fruit here. And I got myself a Pepsi. And I'm watching the ice carving show. My turn. I have hot dogs and like melted jello that you can't pick up with a fork. Day three. Hi. Uh, the TV's on. I don't know why, but but I just finished shopping. I have this dream catcher tote bag. Because Dreamcatchers are made by Native Americans, I'm in Alaska. And then this sour thing. Hello. It is almost 7 o'clock. Almost 7 o'clock Alaska time. I'm on the stairs again. At like 2 30 ish, we got off the ship in Juneau. I'm almost on the floor, it's okay. As I did that, there was literally a worker right there. I went to do that and I turned. There's just a worker standing at the end of the hallway, like. He's like, we're in Juno. And I'm sorry, but this is what it looks like outside. It is such a great view. I love Alaska so much. I took the stairs, my legs are killing me. I'm gonna check that later, but we went up that and we went all the way there. A haul of everything I got in Juno, so. First I got this Alaska tote bag, and I got cotton candy, I got Cheeto puffs, 
I got this I Heart Kona, which is my dog. I love my dog. I got this little Alaska sticker for my Hydro Flask. I also got another one, I think. Oh, I got more stuff. My mom has it, I think. What else did I get? I got another sticker, I think. I got... I don't remember. I'll figure it out. I also had Dr. Pepper. They don't have Dr. Pepper on the ship, so I got a bottle. A bookmark. I also got another bookmark. I don't know. I think my mom has it. I just got a crew neck. I just want to say it is exactly 8.28 right now and this is what it looks like. Also, yesterday I went to go listen to songs on Spotify and my like playlist was not working. Like nothing was working at all. And then now, like it undownloaded my songs. Let's discuss my reading. These are long chapters. But it's a young adult book so it's like, you know, easier to read. And, but okay, last time I said like a young adult book was like it's a smaller book, it's young adult, like it's gonna be easy, like it took me a month and a half, but that's not the point. That's how much I'm in, it's like 41% I think. It's chapter 12, page 167. I have my tabs in here, and yeah, I really love this book. It's like actually really cute, I'm loving it. Yesterday, I was sitting out on the deck reading, and there was this like family like up and over a little bit, and the daughter was reading a book, and I didn't, like, I saw the, because the way that she was, like, where they were sitting, I saw the back when she was, like, had the book like this or something. I don't know. And it was kind of, like, smaller, some, like, smaller print. And I was like, what book is that? Like, I just want to know. Like, I'm curious. Like, what books are people reading? There was one point where I'm reading, but for some reason, I look up at the perfect moment and I see she's reading Icebreaker. And I was like... Because I want to read Icebreaker, but I didn't want to read it while I was in school and then I wasn't going to bring it on the trip. So, like, it's probably going to be my next read when we get, like, when I get home. Because I want to read it so bad. But I was like, oh my gosh, she's reading Icebreaker. It's like hockey romance. Like, I love hockey. I love hockey romance books. Like, yeah. The restaurant, they've, like, they know us by now at the restaurant. Like, it's kind of scary. Because, like, yesterday, so the first day I didn't eat anything except for the bread that, like, they give you no matter what and so i i didn't eat anything and then literally as we're going to sit down the next night the main waiter was like oh you didn't eat anything last night like are you gonna have something tonight or whatever because they're trying they try to push you to eat food because they want you to have their food because if not they're gonna have to throw it out like we're on a cruise ship i ended up getting like a kid's meal and like chicken nuggets and fries and i only ate the fries last night and then i didn't eat anything today because i ate popcorn on land and i wasn't hungry i ate bread and that was it and then i ate some of my mom's grapes because one of the my mom was full for her dessert and she had like a fruit thing and then one of the waiters was like finish her grapes for her and they know our names now because they asked our names and so they memorized it somehow like, I, don't, I couldn't be a waiter on here because I couldn't memorize people's faces. Okay, I probably could, honestly. But, like, I wouldn't be able to remember the names. Like, you're telling me if we go tomorrow, are they going to memorize my name? Because, like, the guy was like, oh, Jillian, finish her fruit. Finish her grapes. And I was like, I didn't even order anything. I literally even drank water. I didn't even get a soda. Okay, we're going on that now. The bar by the pool, that's where you get the soda. They have crush i think it's crush i don't know usually i don't care about the difference of crush and fanta like i will drink either one especially when it comes to grape soda like i'll have crush and fanta no crush and sun is the okay either way i never care about like the different types of like orange soda or whatever but the one at the it's different brands they have but the one at the bar by the pool that's the one that's good but then the one the bar by the by the theater and like all that kind of stuff that one it's so watered it's so flat but then it's also just doesn't taste good and you can tell that it's like a lighter color like it's a lighter orange than the one at the bar and then same for the restaurant it was the same way as the one by the theater so like last night we went to the bar by the pool before going to the theater to get soda but anyways, this is a seven minute clip, so that's just the update. I haven't had the time to talk, so that's just everything that's been going on. I love talking. Like, I love talking to myself. I'm so delusional. Okay, 9-12, show is at 9.30. 
going to deck nine. I'm on deck seven. We're on deck nine to get Shona. And then going to deck two for the show. Currently 12.22. I was on floor 10. I was reading for a long time. And now I'm going back to my room. Also, I am now 60% through this book. Around there. I did the math. Hey vlog, I am ready for another day. So we have gray shirt, blue pants, white vans, makeup some. This is where we are. We are on some passage thing, I don't know. 9.38. So, I'm gonna go read. Hello vlog. It is 4.14 and I'm showered. About 3.30. I finished this book. It's 354 pages and I finished this in like five days I think it was. I think I started this the night before we left and I only read a chapter. So yeah, that's this book. I would just like to say that it's exactly 10.36 right now, p.m. Hey vlog, it is now Monday so that's the next day. We already did catch a can. We're already out at sea again. Well, not really. We're still, like, I could see land, like, right there. It's right there. But we've left the port. I have lunch. I brought it in the room just so I can relax and be on my own because I don't like people. This is my lunch. This was my lunch yesterday, too. I have fries. I have, I have fries, and then I have ice cream that's already com almost completely melted. And then I have orange soda. Yesterday I went to get orange soda and he like, he didn't even need to ask me. He just said orange soda. I was like, yeah. And then today I said orange soda and then he said never change. So the worker notes that I get orange soda at this point. We went zip lining today. It was so fun. And also I have fresh fries too. The zip line was fun. I had, there were two times where I had to pull myself in. Um, and then there was also, we had to jump down a couple times like we obviously were like tied up and it was a rope and you go really slow but you have to like initially like jump down and you have to kind of jump to a tree that's kind of far away and there's like a little padding but i went under the padding a little bit but like that's no big deal it doesn't change anything and then when i went down the workers said that like i did it perfectly they even called me spider-man but then one of the workers told me he said i need to eat more mcdonald's because i don't weigh a lot so, yeah. It was good lunch. We had the best workers. We had, because our group was so big that it got split in half. It was like 10 and 8 or something like that. We got the girl who, like, we first, like, got, like, met up with when we first got to the park thing, whatever. And then we got the one guy who was just, like, energetic all the time. I was, like, so cool. And then my dad told him, he said, I said, if you have anyone under 20, that I'm looking for a boyfriend. I saw my great grandmother, I think it is. Because she lives in Ketchikan. My family's from Ketchikan. Did I forget to mention that? My family's from Ketchikan. We're Alaska natives, and my family's from Ketchikan. Also, I wore my dream catcher necklace because, like, Native Americans made dream catcher. That's why I never buy a dream catcher not made by an indigenous person because people are profiting off of it. I also went to an 18 plus club last night. No, I never need to go to one again. Another day, another update. Hello. It is 1.59. Tuesday, June 20th. I have fries and ice cream again. And then I also got a milkshake. Me and my mom went to the meeting thing for like when you, like what to do when like leaving the ship. I got a picture with the cruise director. We're best friends now. Catch can yesterday. Here's a haul of the things I got. I got this hoodie that says Catch Can Alaska. I got this shirt. Again, Alaska catch can. And then from zip lining, I got this zip lining shirt from the place. We went to the carnival store because we've been in the other stores. But this is like the carnival store with carnival stuff. And I got this teddy bear. It says like captain on it and the foot says carnival luminosa. And then I got this like zip up sweater that says carnival luminosa on it. I feel like this is tilting. Like I'm not even joking. Literally tilting. I don't know how to show proof. So I took a shower. We started packing. For some reason, it was really easy. Like, I have space. When you get drinks at the bar and they give you a straw, they give you, like, a chocolate straw, and I don't like chocolate. And so, thankfully, when the thought of paper straws was brought up, I never had a straw. 
from this trip like i just drank from the cup but whenever the thought of a paper straw we got straws to bring so this actually came in handy because i don't like chocolate so now for my milkshake i have a straw when i started packing i put on spider-man homecoming so i'm gonna go watch that and eat this 4 30 is the show 6 15 is the comedy show there's two comedians today they're both gonna be in the theater doing like it together doing a huge comedy show together an r show so what does that mean you have to be 18 plus so the show is 18 plus i don't know if i said this but yesterday i went to the comedy show and it was like right before it started and we were still waiting for my sister and her boyfriend so my mom like the comedian comedy club manager guy thing was like standing right there and then he asked how old i was because i don't look 18 so yeah, I saw what I was, and I said I was 18, and then I said I have my ID if you want to see it, because I had my ID because I knew that they were, like, at some point, if I went to an 18 plus thing, like, they're not gonna believe me. So I got my ID out, and then he looked at it, and then he was looking at it for a little bit, probably doing the math, and said, I don't know what you do when you look at an ID. But then my mom was like, she looks young, and he was like, yeah, I, I don't look 18. I love my alone time. Like, this cruise has actually not been bad. Like, it would have been more fun if I had friends, but, like, it was fun just being able to walk around, like, eat fries with ice cream for lunch, drink a milkshake right now, get orange soda whenever, like, all that kind of stuff, but I cannot wait to be in my room. I'm gonna lock my door, and I'm not gonna let anyone in. I'm gonna be like, I'm tired of all of you guys. Don't talk to me. Also, I got face paint. I went on the stage in the theater last night before the show, and I got face paint. I got, like, a little music note. I'm gonna go eat now. This is almost a seven minute clip. Late night, Canada, bag secured, like 30 minute walk back to the ship. One last haul because we are in Victoria, Canada. I got my orange soda from Giovanni. Um, this is his name, he's Giovanni, he's from Jamaica. He is the best bar person ever. I love him so much. We are our best friends because he knows that I'm getting orange soda. He just knows. Today, I went. we went to a show and the bar by the theater, not good. I went all the way from deck two to deck nine to get soda from the bar by the pool. He asked where my mom was. I was like, oh, she's down at the show. And I would have said more. I would have, I was totally gonna tell him and just be like, this is the good soda, but I was so out of breath from going from, I've used the stairs this whole entire trip. I think I've been in the elevator probably a total of like four times and it was me being forced to. It was like a scavenger hunt and like just if someone forced me to. I don't know. I'm gonna give a Canada haul. I got this crew neck that says Canada, has a flag. It says Victoria because I'm in Victoria, Canada. It was also like a red one, just like the Canada red. But, and I did like that one too, but. And I like this one also. I like them both. Red one, it was just so much red that I think this was a better option. So I got a couple stickers. I got this. And then I ended up getting two little ones. This was perfect. I was like, oh, I want a keychain. And then I was looking and then she found the perfect one for me. It is a hockey stick and it says Canada and it has the leaf on it. Like it was on a hanger and I put it up to me and it was like Canada, like hockey jersey type thing. And then I got this little hockey stick i really wanted this like literally i told my dad i wanted it and then but it didn't say like anything canada or victoria on it so i was like i'm just not gonna get it even though i really wanted it and then my sister surprised me and got it i love raccoons raccoons are my favorite animal so there's that raccoons and ducks are my favorite and that's the haul from Canada. I want hockey to be more popular because like I love the sport and I want to talk about it with people and just you know all that kind of stuff. I love hockey. I want it to be bigger but also at the same time the fun part about hockey not being as popular is just like the excitement that I feel when I see someone wearing like something hockey. And I did one of these whiteboard questions. There was like four people who put their favorite hockey team and I was like that's so like fun. Like I love hockey so much and like I just need people to talk about it with because I want everyone to talk about it with me. I never filmed anything horizontal after that, so bye. See that? Bye.